Yo! We're kicking things off the right way. We got ourselves a little GN Moxley! Welcome back, John. The new IWGP heavyweight champion of the world. Let's go. Welcome everyone here to the live stream. My name is Conman167. It's good to have all of you with us here today. Whether you be watching on YouTube, Twitch, or on TikTok, great to have you. We have Power Hour going on right now. The last Power Hour of the Subathon. As you guys can see, we're still rolling on strong. It is times three right now, all the way until 9 p.m. Eastern time. We have subs rolling in like crazy at the moment over on Twitch. It's good to have all of you guys here. Welcome, 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 my friends. We're going to get those added up as well. Super Chats will be considered for times three as well. So, for example, one dollar is worth three minutes on the clock. Five dollars is worth 15. You can do the math from there, everyone. Let's go. Welcome to AEW Dynamite. So, this is on the fallout of... Uh, of what was a crazy, crazy week last week. That's all I can say. It was absolutely insane. Bloody wild. One of the craziest things I have ever seen in pro wrestling uh, in terms of behind the scenes footage. I have never seen anything like it before. And this is the fallout of it. Kicking things off with Jan Moxley. All right, where are we at for subs? We had... So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen more subs roll on in. Hell yeah! Hundred and ninety-five more minutes. Let's go, chat. Keep them coming. Mad money with fifty. Yo! <laughs> Oh my god! 750 more minutes! Bro! W mad money! Hell yeah! We're gonna catch back up with any subs that roll in after this, guys. Here's John Moxley. Championships I ever won, you know. Salvation Army Community Center in Fountain Square, right here in Indianapolis. Funny. Now, even back then, 20 years ago, I was swimming upstream. I never really had the wind at my back. I've never had help. In fact, a lot of people try to tell me what I can and can't do, what I can and can't accomplish. Well, my message for them is the same now as it was 20 years ago. Kiss my ass and watch me. Watch me. Watch me as I climb mountain after mountain after mountain. Because being great being great is not about what other people say. It's about what's in here. Now, if you didn't know, this is the IWGP Championship. What do you guys think? Mox is IWGP Heavyweight Champion. What do you think, guys? Let me know. This championship is steeped in history. It is illustrious to the extreme, and I have been chasing it for five years. 
Five years of pain and heartache, of wins and losses, pints of sweat and blood, thousands and thousands of miles back and forth across the ocean. I've been chasing it. Five years ago, a lot of people said me holding this championship, especially holding this championship on li live on Dynamite, was impossible. It wasn't impossible. Not if they knew what was in here. Not if they knew what was inside me. Because that is what this is all about. When your back is against the wall, how deep can you dig? When you feel like you've got nothing left, when you're choking on your own blood, how deep are you willing to dig? How far are you willing to go? Mox just makes you want to run through a wall for him, doesn't he? To be great, to prove that that is wrong, to show the world, that's what AEW is about. That's a fire promo. That is a passionate, passionate promo, man. Which brings me to my point. This is Don Callis family. Boo. Some very, very talented individuals have got themselves in league with this, this Don Callis. Don Callis is a creep. <laughs> I have no time for this Don Callis, and he is feeding them lies, and they are buying them. And what's worse, over the weekend, these guys, they put a hit out and tried to injure my friend, my teammate, Brian Danielson. Ooh. Now, if you're going to put a target on Brian's back, you might as well put a target on mine. You guys want to get violent? You want to be tough guys? Well, you're welcome to come find me. I'll be here all night. All right. But I suspect maybe I'm not your type. Now, what I could do is run up on y'all with a tire iron and blast you in the back of the head. What I could do is run you over with a car in the parking lot here tonight. That's murder. But I get the sense that you won't learn nothing. Huh. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick the biggest, baddest, meanest one of all y'all. Powerhouse Will Hobbs. And I'm going to challenge Will Hobbs to a match one week from tonight in the main event of Dynamite in Jacksonville. Okay. And Will will accept. And in that match, Will will find out just how out of his depth he is when he steps into the ring with the IWGP World Champion. Jeez because I'm not gonna make it quick and I'm not gonna make it easy. I am gonna drag Will Hobbs to the deepest waters that there are and he will look around and he will see no shoreline and when he asks the referee to come rescue him or he sinks to the bottom of the ocean, he will know, he will know the difference between me and him and he will know that Don Callis is feeding him lies. He will know that him, just like everybody else in this business, none of you, nobody can touch me. There are a lot of great wrestlers in the world, but there is only one, and there is ever going to be one, John Moxley. Shit. 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 Great promo. Great promo, man, from Moxley. Passionate as hell. Let me know again your thoughts on him as IWGP Heavyweight Champion. Happy for the man. Five years is a long time to chase that one title, and my man, he got it. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so very much there, Britt Baker. Guys, what I'm going to ask is throughout promos and throughout segments, if there is subs that come in, just take a big deep breath, and I will get around to adding the time. No problem, all right? Um, I see it as it comes in, but I can't always react like that because I am recording for TikTok, okay? But thank you very much, Britt Baker. Oh, here we go me in the dark because they were too afraid to face me in the light but as 
the CEO, I always get right back up. And as the CEO, I can't wait to pay back that bitch who attacked me last week. Lights off, huh? Lights off. That sounds a little too familiar, Julia Hart. You know, Julia, I didn't picture you to be such a coward. Or maybe it's someone who wants me to think it was you. Maybe it's someone who doesn't want to face me at double or nothing when I'm all healthy. Double or <laughs> Either nothing? Either way, I am putting the entire women's division on notice. And Willow and Julia, I look forward to watching your little mixed tag team match tonight. Because remember, ladies, there's a price to pay when you mess with Mercedes money. Well, Mercedes, she's got that shot. And the TBS Championship coming up at double or nothing. But before we get there, we've got this mixed tag team match coming our way. To Remember, we still got that power hour on right now, guys. Holy. But it's the rated R super, super, super star edge. Well, sorry, Adam Copeland. My bad. I always do that. Co-planned. Am I watching the Leafs game too? Nope. I'll catch up at a later time. I haven't been up to date with anything hockey since before the subathon. It is what it is. We got uh, FBE saying, did Keith Lee do something bad? All day I've seen people say negative things about him. Last thing I heard is he was dealing with heart issues. Not that I'm aware of. And here's Willow! Whoa! Willow was attacked. Let me check you out. How's that? Easy. It's, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. I don't think Are you're fine. Sure? No, stay. Are you, Are you sure? positive? Let me check you, you out. Let me check you out. Let's, you have a big match. match. Sunday, relax. Right. Don't worry. Don't worry about this. No, just relax. Get up. Stop. You're going to make it no, worse. I can do it. I can You're going to make it worse. Our cameras is catching the aftermath of another apparent attack. Now the lights go oh. out once again. And Who attacked Willow? Willow Nightingale challenging Julia Hart for the TBS Championship this Sunday at Dynasty. Well, that, that seems uh, that they, they got to think about that as well. Let's, plus this match. I, oh, uh, no. Oh, no. And there's Julia. Lights out again. Oh, man. Oh, holy shit, GCR. Let's go, bro. GCR with 25. Keep that going, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it going, baby. Hype train is active as well. Let's go. So that time, we are going to add in... What do I owe? I owe 25 right there. And I owe... Yeah, 25 right there. Oh, 35. Joe Mama with another 10. Hell yeah, bro. 35 right now. Oh, you 525 minutes. Holy shit. Oh, it's Brody. Just runs over Adam Copeland. Up to 72 hours. Oh my god, we're up to 72 hours, chat. I don't think we've broken 100 hours yet, have we? I, I'm not sure if we have or haven't. But I believe it's if we want to get to 300 hours, I think that's the uh, that's the entire month. I believe somebody might have to correct me if I'm wrong, but somebody said 300 hours is uh, what will get us through the entire month. So if you guys want to keep going, keep going, chat. This is wild, man. Absolutely wild. Did we seriously just break 3,000 subs? Holy shit, we did. We're over 3,000 subs. Oh, let's go. Dude, you guys are crushing out all these sub goals as well. Oh my god. So not only do we have marbles after 
AEW Dynamite here tonight. You have now unlocked us ordering a WWE cameo and us doing WWE karaoke in the shower. Oh my God. Chat picks a non-wrestling game for me to play is up next. 3,200 is Becca chops me a bunch of times. Uh, 3,300 is Ice Bath, 3,400 is Horror Game in the Dark, 3,500 is Beck Does My Makeup. Once again, Power Hour continues to run here, everybody. Welcome on in. Holy hell. What a start. FB saying Monday, April 29th, the Roman donation is coming. Oh, crap. You're not going to make me acknowledge him again. Are you seriously going to do that, FB? You're going to make me acknowledge him? We need around 312 hours, give or take a few. Well, wild, we got that hype train rolling on. Keep it going, chat. Don't let this die. Damn! Did Keith Lee do something bad? All day I've seen people say negative things about him. No Last idea. Last thing I heard that he's dealing with heart tissue. Yeah, I honestly don't. Um, I don't know. Guys, does anybody else know more stuff about Keith Lee? I, I don't think there's anything going on that I've missed, but if there is, please let me know. JCR with another 10. Let's go, JCR. V-rated Lucas with another one over on Twitch. Hell yeah, man. Dude, we are popping off right now on this hype train. Keep this going, baby. Keep it going. But by the way, everybody, have you enjoyed the subathon? I sure hope you have. This is day 17. And the chat made me wear a freaking Wendy Chu shirt. Monday, April 29th, the Roman donation is coming. The a pointing finger. The chat pointing finger. The chat made me wear a Wendy Chu merch. That's where we're at in the subathon. You guys, you made me freaking wear Wendy Chu merch. <laughs> Esports says TK and the Young Bucks are mega heels now. Fair enough. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Why do y'all ha have on this match? Why do you have this match? It looks like it's a two-on-one handicap until maybe somebody comes down and helps out Adam Copeland here. Um, Crazy. All right, that's another... How many minutes here? That was another... We had 11 come in, is that right? 11 or 12? 11. 11 come on in. 165 minutes. Let's go. Six, five minutes. The timer's up to 75 hours. <laughs> no way, man. Oh my god, Wendy's has a Cinnabon pull apart? No. Oh my, Wendy's has a Cinnabon pull apart dessert. Oh God, oh God, oh God. This program may contain coarse language and scenes of violence that could be disturbing to some viewers. Discretion is advised. Power hour happened, Stephen Randall. Brody King, Julia Hart of the House of Black power hour. Man, power hour is hella successful. Holy crap. Partner, Keep it going, though, chat. Nowhere to be found after that attack in the back before the match, Tony. And let's not forget that uh, Dynasty and that six man tag or that trio match. So only for breakfast. Oh, it's only for breakfast, Sunday. eh? Mm. Let's see what's going to be left of Adam Copeland and he can find out coming up on Oh, Brody. And Adam Copeland fighting up here in the corner turnbuckle. Headbutts from Adam Copeland. Three, four, five. And now biting his forehead. Dude, you sick fuck. You sick fuck. So where does that take us to now, chat? With the subathon timer. Where does that take us till now? Darth Hedgehog with another five. Let's go. Why do you hate Wendy Chu so much? Because she's sleepy as fuck. God, wake up when you go to work. Have an energy drink. Have a Red Bull. Grow some wings and fuck off. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, big chop. Went for that impaler. Brody King just too powerful. And Copeland. 
I uh, love the new World Tag Team Championships. Bring back the Winged Eagle WWE Championship, Cody. Would you guys like to see the Winged Eagle come back in WWE? I know that this is AEW, but... So I owe Darth Hedgehog 15, 30, 45, 60, 75 minutes. Sub add time, 75 minutes. Let's go, bro. Whoa, another 10 from Britt Baker. Let's go, Britt. Holy shit. A few years ago, I believe about five years ago, Brody King actually broke his jaw competing in a, in a pro wrestling match. Had to have his jaw wired shut. And maybe that's why Copeland is attacking the jaw, Brody King. Well, Cope is a student of the game. He follows everything that's going on. Sorry, give me a sec here. A years. He knows that could, you could be right about that for sure. Copy that. Any potential advantage that you can if you're Adam Copeland. Especially with an opponent this dangerous as Copeland, that flipping neckbreaker. Yeah, Copeland can barely pull himself up. He looks out towards the fans here, but, well, not going to try to make a cover here, apparently. All right, Adam Copeland rising to his feet. Man, the fans are on their feet too. Oh! Massive clothesline. I realized something. When a wrestler is sidelined with an illness or health issue, the IWC turn on him. They've done it with Bray and now Keith Lee. Being behind him so heavily, yeah, good call. And I think he got, he definitely got caught by the big man there with that line. Sorry, one sec. Brody King, Realize up. something when a wrestler is sidelined with an illness or health issue, the IWC turns on them. They've done it with Brain now, Keith Lee. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a terrible thing because people in the IWC think they know everything, and we don't. We only know what we see on Twitter. We only know what they tell us, right? Oh, Willow's coming out. Here comes Willow. All right, we got Britt Baker with another 10. Thank you so very much. 150 minutes. Woo. And then Edge North pull with 10. Oh my God, let's go. 150 more minutes. There's a big spear by Edge. Brody King just got rocked. Who, 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 who? Give her Willow. Oh, hey! <laughs> Love that for Willow. Love that. Oh, oh my God! Willow just got dropped. Julia Hart had that chain. Brody King's chain wrapped around her head. Dexter. Willow is out cold. And now look at this. Copeland takes Brody on the outside. Heartless is locked in, but Willow, she's out. Yo! Trapped that shoulder that was injured. The right shoulder of Willow. That chain did the damage. Absolutely clocked her. Not, not, not letting go. Come on, let go of her, Julia. Here comes the CEO, Mercedes Monet. Oh, chair in hand. And Julia, of course, she's just going to back out. Of course, she is. Well, that was a good idea by Julia to get out of Dodge here with Mercedes with steel chair in hand. But Taz, has, has the damage been done for Sunday to Willow Nightingale? I mean, she's supposed to challenge. Now, clock her across the top of the head. Clocker. Clocker. Do it. Do it. Do it. That Willow will be in this Sunday, but now there's a history with these two ladies that are in the ring right now, as we know. 
Mercedes with the chair. Adam Copeland. Well, Mercedes drops the chair, but a very tense situation. I mean, we're not sure if Mercedes cool. came out here to save Willow or to get redemption on Julia. But it seems like on some level, Mercedes still may blame Willow Nightingale for that ankle injury, that career threatening ankle injury. Whether it was intentional or not, we will I like know, that segment, actually. I like that setup. There's a lot of tension there. I like it. I'm here for it. Let me know, guys, what do you think of that whole segment? Good match, also. Uh, Adam Copeland continues to put on good matches in AEW. There's no question about it. Very strong matches from him. Championship Samoa Joe looks to defend against Swerve Strickland right now. Our colleague Renee Paquette is standing by with the AEW World Champion. Oh, World Champ. I see the subs rolling in. Thank you guys so much. We'll catch up on times here very shortly. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Love y'all. AEW World Championship will be on the line in a one on one matchup between Swerve Strickland taking on Samoa Joe. Joe, in this situation, taking on Swerve, Joe, just the two Joe, of you, Joe, one on Joe, one, Joe. how do you view him as an opponent? How do I view him as an opponent? Well, at first I had viewed him as a worthy adversary, somebody who someday might make a great champion, but right now he's more of a nuisance. Let me explain to you why. Swerve Strickland is not somebody who's got overwhelming speed and strength and power and is somebody that I look forward to. No, he's just somebody that keeps standing up after I knock him down. No matter how many times I put him in the dirt, he keeps standing up. Now, that doesn't seem like a prerequisite to a champion for me. That seems like a prerequisite for a punching bag. And that's what I think about Swerve Strickland. Well, I want to run you back to last week on Dynamite. I mean, we always see you calm, cool, collected in that driver's seat in pretty much every scenario. But last week, we see Swerve Strickland and Prince Nana holding on to this championship. And your reaction, walk me through what was happening then. Well, as you can expect, Renee, I was worried that my property was in the wrongful hands of somebody who will never possess it. I was worried that maybe this belt would need to be a... I don't know, disinfected before it would be TV ready for this week. I mean, you, know, you don't know where Nana's been. Fair. Yeah, yeah. And as for Swerve Strickland, let's talk about him. Let's talk about his track record. Let's talk about what this man represents. You know, every championship Swerve Strickland has challenged for, it seems like he's come up short. Am I not correct? Yeah. Seems like he's a bit of a choke artist, right? I mean, every, ch every championship, every opportunity, every time he comes just so close, but then he chokes and swerves a little bit off target, doesn't he? Wow. Yeah, well, history will repeat itself once again at Dynasty. And once again at Dynasty, I will do what I have always done, and that is destroy my opposition, cement my legacy as the greatest AEW world champion of all time. And for Swerve Strickland, my friend, unfortunately, you are a choke artist. And come Dynasty, you don't have to worry about it. I'll be the one choking you out instead. Damn. I mean to fight this war. All right. Wow. Damn. All right. Shit, Joe. Shit. Shit. Again, guys, I promise I will catch up on the times. I love y'all for getting those in. Just please be patient with me. Give me like five minutes between segments and everything like that. Still have all my stuff that I got to do plus keep track of the time. But I promise you we will get that time up, okay? Just give me like another 30 seconds and we'll get it there. You guys are absolutely incredible. Keep it going, all right? Keep it going, chat. Don't let this power hour die out. We have until 9 p.m. Eastern for this power hour right here. Samoa Joe just warned Swerve, pretty much. Pretty much, eh? Alright, post that. There we go. 32 views. Alright. Let's go. That's looking good. And I don't think... Yeah, I'll try this one too. This was... Uh... Samoa Joe's message for Swerve. There we go. Samoa Joe's message for Swerve. Get that up, and then we will be able to update the rest of the times. Thank you all for being here, guys. You're absolutely bloody incredible. Keep it up, everybody. Keep it up. 
That's insane that we're over 81 hours now. <laughs> That's actually insane. I got to see the ice bath. 3,300 subs. There's a lot of great content now coming up, isn't there? And we have the weekend now. So what time are we making it till? What time are we making it till? So I owe 150 more. Yes, 150 more. Sub add time, 150 more minutes. Boom. And JC, JCR with another five. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Hell yeah, JCR. Another 75 minutes, my brother. WJCR. Holy crap, this power hour has popped off. This power hour has absolutely popped off. Wow. Am I excited for Backlash? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah. I think it'll be a fun night. I always enjoy WWE pay-per-views. I do. Uh, by the way, everybody watching on TikTok, good to see you tonight, guys. I am posting literally on the TikTok you're watching right now. Make sure when you go and watch my TikTok videos, you like the video and you repost it, all right? We've had a lot of issues with the algorithm lately. I'm not the only creator actually suffering from it. I've done some research, but if you guys would like to help out the channel over on TikTok, Real Con Man 167, the one you're watching right now, just favorite and repost the videos once you see them, all right, TikTok? Give me a hell yeah if you hear me, TikTok, because I... I, I think we can build back our TikTok here. We used to have hundreds of thousands of views on almost every every show. Now we're getting maybe a couple thousand. So make sure you guys favorite retweet. Hey guys, tonight's episode of Dynamite is super stacked. So unfortunately, we had to bump your segment. I, I promise I'll put that package up on social. Wait, we can do that, that right, cool? TV? Okay. And I hope you guys are watching. We're about to beat your friend's ass in this cool six-man tag up next. And guess what? It's a tune-up for Dynasty. Mm. A ladder match? Are you kidding me? That's something we've perfected. We're going to become the first three-time tag team champions. Let's not skip ahead, though. Talk about tonight, Rainmaker. Hey, Pac, you will not make it to Dynasty. You are a dead man. <laughs> hey, cue our music. We're going to go to our badass entrance. Hey, get, get the, the elevator thing. Lower it. There you go. A little bit lower. Let's go. Tony appearing on camera a lot more. Matthew and Nicholas Jackson, obviously drunk with power. Tony Khan no, appearing drunk on drunk camera a lot more recently. Interesting. What do you guys think about it? Is Tony Khan slowly but surely making himself an on-screen character with the elite? What do you think? Oh man, they got they got the damn Cody Vader. No! Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. They are AEW EVPs, Nicholas and Matthew Jackson. Young Bucks. There it is. There's No, no money cannon. Oh, it's fire. It's fire. Oh, more pyro. Oh my. Using up the pyro budget. All right. There you go. Well, the point remains that Matthew and Nicholas Jackson this Sunday night at Dynasty will be facing FTR in a ladder match for the AEW World Tag Team Championship. Oh, watch this. I love this. Watch this one. And then the coin flip, coin drop. That's so cool. I'm actually a fan of that. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that. I owe you guys. Oh, Joe Mama with another 10. Let's go. 150 more minutes. Hell yeah, man. Keep her going, chat. Keep her going. You only have another 27 minutes of this power hour. Okada is here. Yes, he is. You guys a fan of Okada? Give me a hell yeah if you are. 
wins. That's what Matthew and Nicholas are. Men that are consumed with power. Well, that's what most successful humans are about, being consumed with power. They, they fired Kenny Omega. Fired Kenny Omega. To bring in Kazuchika Okada. These guys are, these guys may be EVPs, but they are evil EVPs. Well, they're definitely evil. I agree with that. As of now, we're going to noon on Sunday. We got to get it to the uh, AEW pay-per-view. We got to get to the AEW pay-per-view chat on Sunday. We have to. Here's Danny Garcia. Do the thing. Do the thing. Oh, hey, hey, hey. It's past that already? I think it's on Sunday, the pay-per-view, right? Or is it on Saturday? There's Alex. Tie with five, hell yeah, Ty. It's on Sunday, that, yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. So not quite through it yet. Edge North Pole with 10 again. Hell, hell yeah, man. Keep these coming, chat. Keep these coming. So that is how many I owe? 15, 225 minutes. 225 minutes. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Holy shit. Silverback right there with another one. Man, this power hour has popped off. <laughs> Can't believe what we're doing here. Can't believe there's another 91 hours on the clock. <laughs> champion in AEW of course he was the it's dynasty this uh this Sunday dynasty everyone dynasty is the name of the pay-per-view if you're wondering crazy 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 that is the last power hour though you guys still have another 24 minutes left oh Oh, the Bucks getting that heel heat. Didn't add the 15. It didn't? I think it did. Did it not? Can somebody else confirm that? I'm pretty sure it added it. But if it didn't, I'll, I'll add it in. I thought I saw it go up. Somebody's got to confirm. It did. Yeah, that's what I... It added. Yeah, it added. Yeah. Damn! Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Next week, Raw will be in Alexa Bliss hometown and it will fifth anniversary of the Firefly Funhouse. We could get a huge Uncle Howdy tease. We could. We may. We may, we may, we may. And Death Triangle for the AEW World Trios Championship. We... We had uh, in late 2022, early 2023. And fans coming up tomorrow. Some big events available as AEW makes our debut in Loveland, Colorado on Wednesday, June 5th. And then Allentown, Pennsylvania, oh, yeah. Thursday, June 20th. Available tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern, AEWTIX.com. Not only that, our return to Buffalo, New York. For Dynamite and Collision available tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern, AWTIX.com. It'll be on Wednesday. All right, Bucks bringing that fight. <laughs> JCR with another yeah. sub. Hell yeah, dude. Penta El Cerro Miedo. Yeah, right now. Penta's in trouble. Both Edge Bucks North Bull with another. This tag team was amazing. What up, Byron? What's up, dude? What's up, Byron? Byron Cutler is in the chat asking, he just keeps typing Connor. By the way, I'm spelled O-R, not E-R. C-O-N-N-O-R for those of you wondering. 
Big clothesline. Punch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, and crotch shot. <laughs> nice Irish whip off the ropes. What a kick by Nick. These guys are bringing it. As we go to commercial break. Wow. They're just straight up bringing it in that match. Thank you, JCR. Dude, you have been an absolute gem. Brother, you do not feel like you need to do anymore, man. You have been doing heavy, heavy lifting. Can we get a WJCR for his contributions here throughout the subathon? This dude has been incredible. And thank you, everybody else who has been contributing towards this. We don't get here without any of you guys. So, seriously, just absolutely incredible. Oh, I'm blown away, man. I'm blown away. Whoop that trick? What a swerve or trick Williams? What do you mean? Two different individuals in different companies. You asking who I prefer between the two? I think I'm more of a swerve guy than I am a trick. But like, I can like both still, right? Have I heard of Action Force? No, I have not. I have not heard of Action Force. That is a new to me. But you know what, AEW so far, guys, I got to admit, not bad. Not bad tonight. I feel like, I feel like it's been fine. I, it, nothing to write home about, I'm, I'm going to admit on that one. But like, I honestly don't think anything's really wrong here with, uh, with the show so far. Do you guys agree or disagree? Damn straight. Yeah, yeah. Connor, have you ever been to Arizona? No, I have never been to Arizona. Good show so far, says Dante. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like everything is flowing well. Like, it's 841 right now, and it, it just the entire show has just moved at a solid pace. Um... I don't really have anything to complain about. The wrestling's been good. Stories have been fine. I'm actually kind of intrigued to find out, are they just putting Tony on camera a little bit more? Like, are we getting close to Tony Khan entering his Eric Bischoff area, era, I should say? Like, I I don't know. Um, I feel like he might be getting closer and closer to his Eric Bischoff era. They're also now cutting a promo during the middle of the match. That'll get some heat. Damn. Also, Okada with the Bucks is working right now for me. Like, I, I just think this is working. I know we're one week removed from last week's debacle, but like, like I said at the start of the show, I didn't love it. Okay, I really didn't love last week and what happened, and I think the show as a whole was pretty weak. Even if you take that one segment out, I do believe that the show was weak last week. But this week, better. Better, better, better. Eighteen minutes in power hour, by the way, chat. Oh! Wait. He's cutting a promo literally during the match. Tag me in. Tag me in. What are you doing? Out of his mind. You think you're better than me, Garcia, huh? huh? Come on, kid, what do you got? You got anything left? Show me something. Why didn't we hire you here at AEW? Show me something. What are you, okay, hey, relax. Put me, put, put me, put me down, but we're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Garcia, not a man you want to underestimate. <laughs> Matthew Jackson finding out firsthand. <laughs> Okay, more of that. 
The more of that in their matches, the slimier the better for the Young Bucks, man. More of this, please. You were talking about the speed test. It's on full display right now. Yeah, I I'm here for more of that type of crap. I mean, like, make them as slimy as possible during their matches. And then just fire up those baby face comebacks. I'm here for it. Back. Nice. Down they both go. Oh, man, I think Pac's about to fly. So we're going to ignore the CM Punk chance. Is there Punk chance? I haven't been listening. I have it turned way down. Oh, man. Nice moonsault. Dude, this match is cooking. And then stares down Okada. Let's go. Here for those young bucks, though, acting like that. It's super slimy, and I love it. Oh, oh this is great. Is that it? Oh. Nice. Triple team Sheesh. The pack. Great teamwork. Oh God. Now oh. Brutal. As he Brutal cover. Two. Big kick there by Penta. Damn. Loving this match. Helping out his partner. Taz, that's a tough position for Okada to be in. You're committed to covering your opponent. Your head is left. Thank you so very much, Edge North Pole. Appreciate you, dude. Guys, yes, again, I, I love you. I love you. I love you. I got lots of things going on. Keep them going. I will get to the subs whenever I possibly can. But you guys are absolutely fucking amazing. Keep it up, Twitch. Keep it up. Oh! One, two. Broken up there by Matt. Tough to take. Okada really got lit up. He might not have kicked out if it wasn't for Matthew right there. Why are you getting rid of my chats? I don't know. Are you saying things that you shouldn't be saying? Oh. Oh. Nice neck breaker. <laughs> nice DDT, dude. This match just is absolutely cooking. Oh! What a cutter! It seems like Pat can come up with something different almost every match. What a freaking cutter! Okada, Pac, you can see him staring. Yeah, Pac. He wants to be legal, though. Turning his attention to the man he will face this Sunday live on pay-per-view at Dynasty. He's legal now. Yeah, you're right, Dad. He is. Get a preview of this Sunday in St. Louis at Dynasty. Yeah, this is awesome. This is Match is absolutely TV cooking. Bleach Report through traditional cable satellite providers, Triller TV, PPV.com, YouTube, and Dynasty will also be available nationwide at your local Dave & Busters. Visit DaveAndBusters.com to find your closest location as Pack drops Okada with a thrust kick. What a night there's going to be, and look at, he's going for the black arrow right now. Could this be it for Kazuchika Okada? Pack up to the top. Oh! Oh, he hit the back of his head. Disastrous landing as Matthew Jackson swept out the leg of Pack. Very, very bad, awkward, nasty landing on the head of Pack. Yeah, he came down, Taz. I think it was on the, the side of his head almost. Yeah. That'll knock you out, but he's tough as hell. He wants Garcia in, and Garcia wants it. Here we go. Tag made, and now Daniel Garcia mixing it up with the Rainmaker, Kazuchika Okada, but Okada drop kick on target. For the size that he is to be able to get up that high, Okada has one of the best drop kicks I've seen. Man. Oh, does. Nice now down sliding down the Daniel. back, Garcia, Garcia double leg takedown. Two, kick out by Okada. <laughs> Okada, kick and out, ducks underneath. Garcia Wait a sec. There's oh my god, there uh -oh. is green shirt knockoff guys in the front. Oh my god, tombstone to Garcia. Holy shit, tombstone to Penta. He ducked that sling blade. Good call, Excalibur. And now got both what? What's gonna happen here? Nicholas sees it in his eyes. Telling his eyes, he knows the end is near. Oh 
Oh my god! Oh my god! Double super kick into the Rainmaker! Garcia's done! Holy cow. Wow. Oh, come on. Come on. There's no need for this here, guys. No need. For the EVP trigger. Wow. Brutal. And then they run away. Cowards. They know that that FTR. Cowards. Dax Harwood, Cash Wheeler, they've taken Daniel Garcia under their wings. Definitely. Oh, look at this, bring the ladder into play. It will be a ladder match, Tony, to determine the next AEW World Tag Team Champions this Sunday at, Dan at Dynasty on pay-per-view. And I don't think there's any more match more dangerous than a ladder match, especially when you've got four guys going at it. It's going to be Oh, dangerous. my God, look at this. Oh! Garcia sent spine first. Fuck! You know, Tony's oh! about to the danger of this match. No! Tess, I think a ladder match... Definitely shit. Are you kidding? I totally agree with you, but right now, look what we're about to do. Okay, FTR, get your asses out there. What are they there. trying to do? What are they Guys, trying to do accomplish this? Here. This, is, this is too much here. You, I agree, Taz. They, somebody needs to stop this right now. Garcia is it, it, he's about to get destroyed here. And Nick's going up top. Yeah, Garcia sandwiched in that ladder. Now, Pac. Oh, thank you, Pac. He's got that hammer again. No strangers to using that. No, no stranger to using that Damn. Yeah, and there you see him, the I, thought, I thought Garcia was about to be offed, but we're, we're good. We're good. Has come into play, as you said many times, Excalibur, and he was ready to swing it up against someone. All right, guys, we got 10 minutes left. I owe you guys. I owe you the 20 from Edge North Pole. Three hundred. Can't believe I used my calculator for that. Three hundred. There it is. All right. Final little bit here during the power hour, everybody. Final little bit during the power hour. Make sure you get your subs on in if you would like to. If you don't want to, that's okay. But we got ten. Sorry, we got fifteen minute subs right now turned on. So make sure you guys get them in. Super close to. Topping over 100 more hours in the subathon, which is wild. Edge with another 10. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. That's what we're talking about, dude. Whoa. AEW is money. Where is that sub from? I guess that's got to be, I don't know, maybe YouTube? Regardless, thank you so very much. Oh, that was definitely YouTube. That was. Hoovian nerd right there. Appreciate you. Con can't do math. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shush. We had Edge with the 10. We had uh, another one right after that as well. Thank you, Edge, with 11. Oh, you guys. Uh, 175 minutes. Holy sheesh. There we go. Keep it going, guys. You got another eight minutes left. Eight more minutes. Holy hell. <laughs> this is insane. This subathon is just absolutely bloody insane. Like, just crazy. 3,120 subs. Views are once again dead on TikTok. <laughs> Of course, TikTok. Guys, if you are able to see my videos, make sure you are favored in, like, double tapping the screen, all that stuff, and make sure you guys are reposting the videos on TikTok, all right? Keep it going. 99 hours is wild, yeah. Dude, uh... Just, just putting it out here, 100 gifted would fucking crush right now. <laughs> Holy hell, man. 
Amazing. Seven minutes. Just bloody incredible. Bloody incredible. Con using the Steiner math. Yeah, pretty much. Con add time. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Edge again. Another sub add time. What is that? 150 minutes. All right, keep it going. Another 150 over the top. Holy. How long would 100 add? 1,500 minutes. <laughs> Wild if that happened. Anthony with 10. Anthony! Woo! Another 10 added on, baby. Here's Lionheart. Another 150 minutes added to the clock. Five minutes left in power hour. And here comes Jericho. Clock did update. Yes, it did. I saw it. I'm keeping track of the clock now because too many, too many people are like, it didn't update, Con. Do it again. <laughs> Yo, Shooter Games with another 10. Hell yeah, dude. Oh my god, the timer's barely fitting in there anymore. <laughs> this is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. Here he is. It's Hook. Four more minutes in power hour, everyone. He is Hook. This was Anthony with 25 voice break voice crack. I'm fucking excited. Let's go. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. Keep it going guys. Three minutes left. All right, so I'm just I'm just here to make sure everything goes nice and easy. There's been some issues between you. 375. Jericho, you. So Chris Jericho, that being said, the floor is yours. Holy. First of all, Taz, we've known each other for 30 years. I want to thank you for for getting Hook to come out here. Hook, thanks, thanks for oh, please, please, please. Hook, I just want to thank you for coming out here. I just want to clarify a few things. The reason why I pulled you off the three minutes, last week was not to mess with two and a half Shibata minutes left, guys. Power hour damage. is almost done. I wanted to get your attention and let you know that I didn't feel you were listening to me as much as, as you should, as much as I can help you, Hook. Spade stars, let's go. Keep this in mind. I'm doing this all for you, Hook, okay? Now, some people say Spade it with another five at this. Other people talk about the learning tree. Hook, I am Holy the learning tree. Shooter with 25! Think about everybody in AW who have listened to my perfect parables. Who have listened Humanity to my with another. Wisdom, have gotten to the next level. All of them. MJ, Orange Cassidy, Eddie minutes. Kingston, Danny Garcia, John Moxley, Osprey. All of them, so many more. Have gotten to the next level. Everyone that's We're come almost, into the Jericho Oh, vortex, that didn't add. There it is. That added. Come out the other side. One minute. A better performer. One minute left. Wrestler, Carl with another sub. Let's be honest, a better person as well. 
Holy shit. And that's what I want from you. Look, I want us to scale to the highest of heights together. I want us to get to the top of Wizard Mountain. Minute so left. Minute left. In the rarefied air of Jericho and get to the top. I know I can get you to the top. Hook's just eating chips. So what do you say, Hook? Are you ready to put this animosity aside? Thanks, and Shooter. Truly sit under the brilliant branches of the learning tree? Come on, man. What do you say? It's a big offer for Hook to consider. This is amazing. No. no. <laughs> and here we go, guys. Made up, sound like to me. That is going to be basically the end of Power Hour. Here we go. On, I mean, what Ten. Are you about? What do you mean, no? Nine. Huh? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, Dude, don't be stupid. Two, oh, oh, relax. One, relax. Hey, relax, relax. stop. Just stop. Ding, okay, ding, 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 ding. Power guys, hour is stage. over. Power I'm hour is over. Thank you so very much, everyone. Absolutely guidance. incredible. Okay, we had another another 15 there. Thanks to JCR. This is what I'm talking about, Hook. Thank you so much. If anything comes in in the next minute here or so, I will honor it. But I appreciate all of that. Thank you guys so much. You guys are absolutely incredible. I got to add YouTube as well. YouTube was 16, 32, and another 16. 16. Hook, I know you've had people your whole life telling you how good you are telling you you're a future world champion including this man right here but right here right now you're not ready you are not as good as you think you are hook whoa chris you're getting oh what the no. yo jericho just pushed ties oh no you don't do that yeah Hook is gonna kill you in Minecraft. You effed up. You effed up, Jericho. And not only that, but Chris Jericho just laid yeah. his hands. Yeah, I was gonna say. He was like Jericho. You crossed the line. You wanna see how good I am? I'll show you again. Anytime, any place, anywhere. Now get out of my ring! Wow, he's look, you, you don't mean this. Come on, you don't mean get out of my ring. Remember, Hook's beaten Jericho once before. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Convincingly. Get out of here. Get out. Get out of here. Dude. This is again very too no far, man. You you, you stepped like over this. that line. Well, again, just like just like Hook said, Jericho crossed the line. I don't think there's any question about that. And uh, th this is such a weird situation, Tony, because does Jericho really believe that 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 he can show Hook something that he can that he could teach that man something? I think he's delusional. But fans earlier today wow. from the AW World Champion. Now let's hear from the man that will challenge Samoa Joe this Sunday. At you don't Dynasty. do that, Jericho. You don't do that. For Strickland, in just a matter of days, your entire career could change. You could become our new AEW World Champion at Dynasty. Uh, now, in order to do that, you have to defeat Samoa Joe. I spoke to him earlier. I know that you heard the words that he had to say about you. I need to get your reaction to... Him calling you a choke artist. <laughs> I heard what he said. But let me ask you one night. Do you believe what some old joke said? Do you think I'm a choke artist? No. I don't think so either. <laughs> he talked about me stumbling on career title opportunities here in AEW. I mean, he's not wrong. I've stumbled out the gate. I've been stumbling throughout my whole career. But guess what? 
I've always fallen forward into success. Just in this past year, I've been put into a coffin. I got back up. I've been stapled and my body thrown in barbed wire and I got back up. I had a man just not a couple weeks ago knock me in the face with a chain and bloody me and no contract signing and I'm still here. I always get back up. That's my military upbringing, my warrior ethos. Never give up, never quit. So Joe, you can call me whatever you want. You can call me the punching bag. You can call me the choke artist. You can refer to me as a parasite. But guess what? This Sunday, at Dynasty, you're gonna be calling me new AW World Champion. Whose house? For what makes you so confident that this Sunday you can defeat Samoa Joe? You know, with all due respect, Renee, this isn't something I should be answering to you. I should be answering this to Samoa Joe. Guess what? Samoa Joe? I'm gonna tell it to your face and that ring tonight. Let's go. Draws closer and closer. Even more intrigue surrounding this AEW World Championship title match. And here's Mariah May, dressed as Tony Storm. Who's she kissing this week? Mariah May. Before we turn our attention to this match, Taz, you all right? I'm good. Yeah, my knee is not, but I have a lot of issues. But yeah, that, I'm good. tonight of her most ardent supporter Mariah May and this Sunday it will be timeless Tony Storm putting her AEW Women's World Championship on the line against the woman who was never defeated for that AEW Women's World Championship in Thunder Rosa and I think Thunder Rosa has proved that she is ready we heard from her on Saturday there's no doubt in my mind and here's the virtuosa Power Hour was successful there, Darmani. Power Hour was successful. 3,192 subs is what we're sitting at. 3,192 subs is wild. That bond being somewhat tenuous. Yeah, I, I think there's actually, I think there is some animosity now that is developed between the two. Crazy, eh? Crazy, crazy, crazy. crazy. So where does that take us still, chat? Does that take us into Monday? That probably takes us into Monday, right? At least. Where are we... Where are we at? Tuesday at 1 a.m.? Nice. Nice. Well, from here on in, though, everybody, Subathon will not have any power hours. All right. The only thing that if it happens again somehow, some way, and we get that golden Kappa hype train, it would be 10 minutes a sub. All right. But no more power hours for the rest of the month. We have used them all. Let's see where we get to from here on forward. All right, everybody? Absolutely incredible. Oh. I've talked about her being such a, a hard hitter. She proved it right then. Sky's the limit for Mariah May. And uh, her upside's insane. And now the good job right there by Deanna Perrazzo. The same could be said for Deanna Perrazzo since her arrival. Her only singles loss. No, every set, every sub is five minutes still. That's our original time. That's what it's going to go up to, yeah. Or go to again. What up, what up, what up? Good to see all of you guys on TikTok. Welcome on in, everybody. Good to have you. Yes, we'll be live with Dynasty. That is confirmed. That is confirmed now, everyone. But I'm going to tell you this right now. i got a feeling he's, he's in a world now with Hook that he's not going to want to be in. And he's going to learn that the hard way. Yeah, I think we saw that happen. Ted. So Dynasty this Sunday, everybody. Looking forward to that. Mariah May sends Deanna Prazo hard into the barricade. And, you know, I have to think back to a week ago. 
at, at Dynamite where we saw Mariah May defeat Anna Jay one on one. And after the after the match, Mina Shirakawa of Stardom, a former tag team partner of Mariah May, came to the ring and I'll say embraced with Mariah May and Mariah Cena. I'll say embraced with Mariah May. <laughs> And then this Sunday at Collision, Tony, we saw Timeless oh. Tony Storm defeat Azumi of Stardom, the Japanese women's promotion, in an Eliminator match. And afterwards, we heard from Tony Storm and Mariah May. And Mariah wearing it's incredible, eh? St. Wolf blown away. Here's Mariah May into the corner. Well, it's good to see the, the oh. ladies from... And then shoves her down. Deanna hits hard. What's up, Conman? How are I? How am I? I'm doing great, dude. How are you doing? And we are heading into picture in picture. Don't go anywhere. This match continues. <laughs> Tim's new greatest duos trading cards with two iconic hockey players. All right. Bro, I know. I know. Everybody's going to come on in and be like, what the hell happened? <laughs> Can I show the sub, uh, sub goals? Absolutely, Anthony. Here you go, guys. So here is where we are at with the sub goals, okay? We have dyed our hair. We got to do DDP yoga on stream. We got to do Becca paints my fingernails. Marble sub bet is happening after. However, here's the weird thing. Here's the weird thing, guys. The marble sub bet, we might just have to play marbles because we might have exhausted all the subs. <laughs> So it might just be marbles just playing, uh, but we'll we'll get the marbles fired up right after AEW Dynamite here tonight. Okay, everybody. Uh, we will be ordering a WWE cameo. We will be doing WWE karaoke in the shower at some point. We will let you pick a non wrestling game for me to play here throughout the subathon. And we are eight subs away from Becca chopping me three times. Uh, that's where we're at, everybody. We are moving along the ice bath at 3,300. 3,400 is Horror Game in the Dark. 3,500 is Beck Does My Makeup. And then our stretch goals is at 5,000 for Tesh to drive down and chop me. So you would get an IRL stream between me and Tesh as well. And then uh, Roman Reigns acknowledging him, wearing his t-shirt, making a TikTok video, making an actual video. Uh, I really want that non-wrestling game to be Red Dead Redemption 2. Well, you guys are going to have to think about what you would like. Holy shit, Showman with 10. Bro! Well, there we are. There we are. 3,200. Oh, holy, and another 50 minutes. Let's go. Jake is here. How you doing, Jake? Good to see you, dude. It's, it's, this is nuts. This is, this is, this is absolutely nuts. <laughs> Wait, you never played Red Dead 2? I did. Yeah, I did. Uh, just not all the way through. It's on my uh, Con Games YouTube channel. I think I had... Uh, how, many, how many episodes did we do before we stopped? How? 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 It's a fucking long game. What do you mean, how? Bro! I've been making content since 2016. What do you mean, how? I didn't get enough views to do it on stream, so I had to drop it from my stream. And I had to be like, yo, guys, if you want to see this again, you'll have to actually watch the videos. And then nobody watched the videos. So I was like, well, then fuck, we're done playing this, I guess. <laughs> and kick out. Bye, Mariah May. Posey, the referee, and Mike Posey, she was, oh. she was angry with him about that. That'll Big strikes back and forth, though. But look at this, Deanna, she's had a lot of fights. She's like, bring it on. Oh. As we talk about what a hard hitter Mariah May is, but likewise, Deanna Perrazzo, she can throw some bombs as well. She can, for sure. I think I need an ice bag for my knee, but that's a whole other topic. Is chat choosing which wrestler for the cameo? Within reason. We'll take a look at what's available, and I'll give you the names that we can actually purchase. Uh, cause like, I'm not dropping 500 bucks on a cameo. Love you guys, but we're not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. We might do like 200 for somebody 
you know, pretty decent. Potentially a little more, a little less. We'll find it out. We'll find out uh, when we do that. What's up, Con Man? How you doing? That Hook Jericho segment was actually kind of good. I thought it was good, too. I think tonight's AEW has been kicking ass. Heavy chop there by the virtuoso Deanna Brazo. As Mariah, no, reverses. Swing it up, miss. Deanna, the pump. Nice. target. Good job, Deanna. The cover. And Mariah. Late kick out there. I'll tell you what, I think Deanna thought she had the win right there. She was so confident. She looked at the handheld camera. Yes. You noticed. I don't know. I, I've noticed that, Taz, as well. I didn't know if she was looking towards Linda Rosa. Maybe. I, I don't know. But she was very confident with that cover. You're right. That cameo needs to be Joe Hendry. Was looking for a powerbomb. Mariah able to, to escape oh, out. Like, oh, oh. Kick and the head, but oh, Deanna rock back to the corner. And Mariah, she likes to use the hip attack as an homage to Thomas Tony Storm. Can she land it? Yeah, I think that might be one of the plays. Forty dollar cameo. That might be one of the plays. That might be the play. Is Die Jack on here? That's a hell of a kick out, considering the two things that happened. Die Jack's on here. Temporary unavailable, so he's uh, he's not available for it. But instead, look at this reverses. Sits down. Diana counters two. You might. Oh, Diana wins. And Tony Storm right into the ring right after Deanna. We'll do an actual vote for it when we, when we get around to it. We'll do an actual vote. And here comes Thunder Rosa. Oh, God. She just decked. That dude. Damn. Get it, Thunder. Rosa definitely saving the day. We talked about the tenuous bond between Deanna Peraza and Thunder Rosa. Remember what she said on Saturday? She said she didn't need her help. Talking about Deanna Peraza. Oh. Now Deanna and Mariah. Tony in the ring. Oh no, Tony looking for Storm Zero. Big shot right there by Thunder Rosa. Knocked her out. Oh. Thunder Rosa just mocking Thomas Tony Storm. That's not even the champion's color. Oh, Tony. Oh, Tony. I didn't mind that. Bang, bang, gang, guns up. Very exciting time here in AEW. Dynasty is just days away. You guys have asked for this time. What's going on? Bang, yeah, bang. You say it's a very exciting time, Renee, but you don't really seem that excited. This is your favorite time of the week. You're here with the who? Bang, bang, gang. No, no, no come on. What's, what, 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 with some feeling. Say with some oomph. Like you know, it's like this. Bang, bang, gang. Oh. <laughs> just like that. The bang, bang, gang. We've been having a blast the last couple of months. Been doing some scissoring, mm -hmm. some new catchphrases, mm -hmm. some new t-shirts, yeah. making new friends, new fans. The boys got to hang out with their old man again. And everybody could see just how much better off they are with Papa Blade than Daddy Ass. And you know what? We're going to fulfill our destiny at Dynasty this Sunday because how did this all start? Surprise, surprise, it's about gold. Now we have the Ring of Honor six-man championships, and you, acclaimed and daddy ass, you have what we want. You have the AEW Trios Championships. So you put those on the line. We'll put these on the line. Winner takes all. But the winner will be the greatest three-man team in the business, the Bang Bang Gang. And if you ain't done with that, we got two words for you. Guns up. 
At Burger King, stretch your... Interesting. Crazy, 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 crazy. What I'm saying crazy about guys is that, uh, my TikTok videos got disqualified again. This time it's for a security issue. All my NXT videos. Disqualified for a security issue. Um, new reply. Sorry. Sorry. Just replying to them. Freaking wild. Freaking wild, man. No idea. No idea. Yeah, videos are literally being deemed a security issue. <laughs> Why? Why? I'm just uploading wrestling clips. Like, I'm just up. I'm literally just uploading my reactions. Here's what it says. Security issue. Trust, safety, and security are our top priorities on TikTok. We do not allow activities that may undermine our platform, such as fake engagement to artificially increase popularity with malicious software or modified code manipulation of our reward system and recommendation system, acts with an intent to harass or disturb other users, and involvement in false statements, illegal or criminal activities connected to the rewards program. What? What? What am I doing? <laughs> You want to fight this Sunday at Dynasty? You want us to put the AEW Trails titles on the line? Well, guess what? We accept your challenge. So bring your little ass boys, bring your big golden bat, because guess what? The Scissor King, he's got a big golden bat of his own, and you can choke on it! That's right, choke on that, Twink Blade. And the ass boys, you guys want to make challenges? Well, let us in on the fun, too. Just for old times, let's run it back. Two on two action, acclaimed and the ass boys on collision this week. And we're gonna beat your ass, I got no doubt about it because everyone loves the acclaimed And fans, Tony Khan has made it official. This Sunday, Dynasty Zero Hour, winner takes all, the acclaimed versus the Bang Bang Gang. That is great news. Boy, we are getting better and better heading to St. Louis on Sunday. Oh, yeah. This next battle is set for the call with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from wherever, Wayne, whatever, first one is squeezed. Orange Cassidy. He's caliber a lot on this young man's mind right now. I'll tell you that. Yeah, Orange well, Cassidy for the first time in. I mean, really, his entire AEW career, walking, walking this path by himself. You know, Rocky Romero is in Mexico. Katsuyori Shibata back home in Japan. 
Chuck Taylor, he's injured, he's off the road. Orange Cassidy, now that Trent Beretta has turned his back on Orange Cassidy. That's right, Trent turned his back. Orange Cassidy has nobody to, he don't have his best friends. Yeah. That's, what, that's it, I mean, it's, it's kind of sad for OC. Lonely Jones. Bad man. Rumble. Now he's got to deal with Taylor. Shane Taylor. And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing 310 pounds, Shane Taylor. Again, Ghostface, I'm not just going to dip out of TikTok simply because I had a little bit of a struggle for a month, month and a half. Ha, whatever. What's up, dude? How you doing? But, yeah, I've had, uh, I've easily had my most successful time as a creator since I started doing TikTok, but... It's just pretty wild to see the issues coming from it. They wanted to speak their mind. They wanted to speak about knocking out two of the biggest stars in AEW in back-to-back -back weeks. I'm talking about when a go-go knocked out Chris Jericho with Shane Taylor. Knocked out Unless... George Cassidy just happened to walk by Taz. It did not take too kindly to... It's an idea. Do I have another video available? Dude, absolutely. Jericho steps out of line. There's no back down him. This is. Doesn't matter this massive size difference here. You see, Shane Taylor's a gigantically massive man who can throw hands. This is so cool. I can do that. Let's try this. I have an idea. I have an idea. Shane Taylor gave. Wait, wait, wait a second. What's he doing? He's telling his guys, I got this. I think Taylor right. said he doesn't have anybody. Yeah. You've been looking for me, right? Orange Cassidy would Might have a work for him. He's flying it. Flying it solo tonight. Jeez Louise, I come back and the time's over 100 minutes. What happened? Power hour happened. That's what happened, Greenville. Orange Cassidy may be outmatched here tonight. Well, we thought Hope was outmatched because he got some pretty heavy blows on Saturday. Yeah, that shows you how much heart that gives you. Oh. Yeah, definitely Shane Taylor. A sassy goblin came in and changed the time. You know it. TikTok thinks you're filming from the NXT parking lot. <laughs> Des Cookie says not one positive from the show so far. I think there's actually been positives come out of this here. I think tonight's show has actually been pretty focused and uh, gotten back on track to where they needed to be after last week's debacle. I think a lot of that that energy is coming from last week. But That's if we're looking at this as an individual here. show, it has been strong. I don't really have any issues with it. Is it anything to write home about? No. But it doesn't have to be to be a strong enough show, you know? Oh my god! You're defenseless up there. That man handled it was what Cassidy got. And now trouble on the floor. There you go. The referee Paul Turner is back his turn. To the action on the floor. The Lee Moriarty stomping. Coach Cassidy, yeah, Lee Moriarty saw an opening and he grabbed it. There you see Shane this show is just down the street for me. Damn. What happened last week? Oh, it was the Bucks showing the uh, the all-in footage uh, from Jack Perry and CM Punk backstage. Just not the best. Not the best thing. Shane Taylor with a tremendous boxing background, Tony. If he lays in at that liver punch, Cassidy's going to go down or about to chop and stuff those hands and he brings a heavy chop, guys. That's what's going to happen here. Over and hand chop. Shane Taylor in command of Orange Cassidy. Don't go anywhere because the action continues in picture in picture. Twenty-five years of innovating in Canada has led to today. Today you can drive a powerful SUV that helps you save on fuel costs. Alright, did you hear that? Today you could drive a powerful SUV that saves you fuel costs. Amazing. I can't wait to uh, to stop using fuel there, Anthony. Whenever the day comes, I, I know that it's not necessarily as green as it's made out to be because like the batteries, you know, it takes a lot to, to get the batteries and all that. But still, when there becomes a day that it all makes sense, can't wait. Uh, wait till Becca sees how much time is left on the clock. That's crazy, right? Yeah, it's crazy.
absolutely crazy. The only thing that I know, guys, is that this is now running through till Monday, right? I'm pretty sure this is running through till Monday. Uh, I do have to leave at 9 in the morning. Well, I have to leave at like 8.45, 8.40 in the morning, something like that, Monday morning. And I will be gone for about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, that's, like I said, the, the thing that I got to be there for is 9 a.m. Uh, and it'll only take about an hour or so. It won't be that big of a difference, guys. Generally speaking, I've been sleeping at that time anyways. So, that you know, that works for me. That works for me, and hopefully it'll work for you guys. We'll just throw a video on the screen or something like that, and everything should be good. Yeah, like an old pay-per-view Monday morning or something like that. We can maybe do a TNA pay-per-view Monday morning. Take us with you to get some fast food. No, I, I'm not taking you guys with me. We got some personal stuff that's going on. I'm just going to step away from the stream just for like that, that hour, hour and a half, whatever it is, and uh, then I'll be back. We're going to Tuesday at 2 a.m. Holy. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, how would you rate this subathon compared to the last? Well, we're crushing it. We're, we're beating it by a week minimum. Like, we're, our longest time was two weeks. We're, we're going at least another week. <laughs> oh, I guess we're here for 420 as well, aren't we? Interesting. Um, was this because of the third power? That it was. Yep. Yep. You got the times three power hour and people went ham. People went ham. That's what Shane Taylor, the heavy handed power puncher from Cleveland has been smoking oh. towards Cassidy, but Cassidy trying to Big right there by Cassidy. Boom. Maybe Saturday will be a really good day for us to play a video game that uh, is not wrestling related. <laughs> Maybe that'll be a really good day for it, guys. Oh, shoving him away again. Big right. That hand gripped around the throat of will I do IPW downloads on Friday? Yeah, I think we will. I think we will. We did not hit the sub goal for the horror game yet. Nope. Cassidy and Shane Taylor. Now Cassidy fighting back. Do I still stream TNA? Uh, Thursday nights have actually been pretty congested for us. Congested? Is that the right word? Busy, I guess. Um... We've had a lot of stuff going on on Thursday nights lately, and we actually have a lot of stuff coming up as well. Uh, it's a very difficult show to commit to streaming, to be perfectly honest. Would I like to stream more TNA? Yes, that's probably the better way to put it. Here comes the orange punch. Shane Taylor ducks underneath. Clothesline, nobody home. Drives him down. Two, kick out. What horror game in particular? The chat gets to pick. How's my back holding up? A little sore. Not the greatest, but not too bad. This is breaking news. This Saturday at Collision Live in Peoria, Illinois. It will be the Elite versus Pac and FTR. A massive trios match. Wow. We draw closer and closer to Dynasty. Big matchup on 420 Saturday. 420 Saturday. They're really highlighting that, eh? How many jokes do you think they're going to be on Saturday? Oh, orange punch. God. Another one. That's it. Wow. What a war for Orange Cassidy. Wait, oh, Lee, Lee. Remember, Rocky Romero's not here. Katsuri Shibata's not here. There's no one to to watch Orange Cassidy's back. None of his best friends are here. 
That's I Anthony think, Ogongo. I think Ogongo's gonna drill Orange Cassidy here. Oh, buddy. Oh, come on. Why you gotta hit me that hard? Shane Taylor Promotions has become a force here in AEW, no doubt. As Anthony Ogongo, such power captured in that left hand, just unleashed on the midsection of Orange Cassidy. Yeah, that was some shot. And I, I think Shane Taylor wants more of a beat down here. And look, uh, Gogo and Moriarty now holding Orange Cassidy open. That's, Wait, okay, what? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, Trent. Bro. Fuck you, Trent. Fuck you, Trent. No way. Damn it, Trent. Trent Moretta just showing his true colors. And you want to want to talk about showing your true colors? This past Saturday at Collision, Roderick Strong did exactly that to Kyle O'Reilly. Damn. We have a brand new international champion. His name is Roger Strong. Uh, who do I think? Oh man, I've had these paused the entire time. Whoops. Who do I think should win the Women's Championship on Raw? I hope it's not Nia Jax. I'm honestly kind of here for Nia. I'm kind of here for, for Nia as champ. I am. I hate to admit it, but I am. Greenville with a sub. Let's go, dude. Here we go. Who do you think should win the women's champion on Raw? I hope it not Nia Jax. Osprey. Let's go, man. Star in the making. That's awesome. That is awesome. This is wild. Yo, TikTok, are you guys seeing my videos in your For You page at all? This is, this is insane. I've never, I, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Yo, what channel is this? This is Conman167, real Conman167. You should be able to see my videos on my page right now. I'm trying to post them, but ain't nothing working, man. Ain't nothing working. Oh, crazy, eh, Sean? Perfect. Perfect. That's awesome. Jake should. He should evolve it. Keep it going. I mean, like, what channel is AEW on? Uh, I'm watching on TSN. I'm watching on TSN right now. Elevate it. El elevate it to the sky. Check X.
Carlos Cabrera is all elite. Interesting. Cool. Very cool. Need to add five minutes. Thank you. So add time. Five minutes. Boom. There we go. That was the same chair shot lifted to Rio. <laughs> Pretty much, actually. Pretty much. This program may contain coarse language and scenes of violence that could be disturbing to some viewers. Discretion is advised. Welcome back to AW Dynamite. We are moments away from our main event. We're ready here at the desk. Will Ospreay is ready inside the ring, and so is... And here's Claudio. Justin Roberts. Making his way to the ring from Lucerne, Switzerland. Weight 232 pounds. Am I still getting the AEW crate? Yeah! We already have it. Sitting right here, actually. Right here. Because the golden goose himself, Will Ospreay, the king of the bangers, is here tonight, courtesy of the Don Callis family. Hey, Don, what's up? I'm so excited. I hope you're feeling a little bit better. I'm looking forward to this match, too, yeah. AEW's been cooking tonight. Yes, thank you, Don. I know you're a very hot woman, man. Well, it was this past Saturday at Collision. Audio Cassidy only Brian Danielson faced Kyle So here's the question, guys. With the marble stuff. Uh, we can open the AEW crate. Yeah, we can open the AEW crate here, guys, if you'd like. We can open it here, right at the end of AEW. Um, oh, man, Claudio starts out strong against Will. Running uh, uppercut. Kick out by Will. Damn. Claudio. Ricola bomb. Ricola reversed right there by Will. Okay, this match is about to slap. Oh. Jeez. Up to the 30 minute time limit that we got. Yeah, if we go past the top of the hour, we're going to stick with all the action. You're right, Tony. Swerve said that he was going to have some words for AW World Champion Samoa Joe inside the ring, but uppercut from Claudio Castagnoli dropping Osprey to his back. You know, I'll say this Claudio is one of the best pure athletes I've ever seen. Oh, Marble. Sorry. Yeah, Marble. Um, so the Marble sub bet thing is what we were going to do. Like, we're going to do it, okay? We're going to do it. Do you guys want to still do it after AEW here? Because we went ham with the subs, right? And the idea is, is that, you know, we do like some random sub bets and all of that. If you're still wanting to do it, we can still do it. But if you'd rather wait to another day, that could help extend the time. We can also do that. So let me know, chat. Do you want it right after AEW or do you uh, want to wait for the uh, for the subs? Let's get a poll going here. Um, Marbles, sub, bet, wait, or after dynamite. One for wait, two for after dynamite here, chat. Everybody's waiting. Okay. Okay. Awesome. I think that's the right and smart call here, chat. I think that's the right and smart call. Springboard. Oh. Have I seen? Have I seen speed today? No, I haven't. I guess we can watch that after dynamite here. We can also open our AEW crate. Cool. 
Tonight's show has been a big W stream and a W show. Damn right it's been a W stream and a W show. Can you ask me something? Absolutely. Absolutely. How's everybody doing here? And by Australia and by the UK and by the US, I'd love to add Switzerland to that United Nations. Wow. You're going to have to pry Claudio Castagnoli away from the Black Bull Combat Club. You're always recruiting, Don. I respect that. Thank you. You're always recruiting. And Don, earlier tonight, we heard from the newly created. My mental health good after all this time? A lot better than I actually thought it was going to be. A lot better than I thought it was going to be. I was worried. That it would be a massive struggle, and you know what? The planning that we put into it has benefited myself and my mental health greatly. Um, having this all planned out and being mentally prepared to go for a month has been a, one of the best things I could have possibly done. You know, telling myself I'm live for a month, right? Just telling myself live for a month, live for a month straight through. Telling myself that helps a lot because in my head, I see that time and that's not overwhelming because it's not the end of the month. So, so far, so good. Oh, wow. Will almost got his head spiked. He's good though. Oi, oi, oi. Well, nice crossbody caught by Claudio. Oh my God, what a slam. Dude. <laughs> Claudio's awesome. It's not too bad, J-Ray. Not too bad. What happens when you hit 30 days and you have extra time? What does that mean? Or does it just disappear? We start counting down. So once this reaches the amount of time that is left in the month, this will be a countdown clock as opposed to uh, a count up. And subs will be turned like, you know, just if any subs come in, they won't add to the time sort of thing at that point. Then it will just be a countdown like, oh, hey, we hit it. Now do we reach our further sub goals, our stretch goals, that type of stuff. But yeah, uh, we are. We will be done by the end of the month, basically. If this reaches the end, that will start to count down, basically. We're ending on, if this does go for the entire month, we will be ending on Tuesday, April 30th uh, after NXT, like around 11 p.m. Eastern time. So you guys can catch like the last hour. We'll recap some stuff and, and all of that uh, after NXT. On the 30th. It won't end then. Yet it, it will. <laughs> yes, if we go to uh, April 30th uh, by 11 p.m., the stream is over. Like that, I'm, I'm streaming just for a month. I'm not extending this beyond that or anything like that, guys. Um, I will then be off on the Wednesday and the Thursday for uh for after the subathon so may 1st and may 2nd i will be off and then i'll be back for may 3rd and may 4th then i'll be off on the 5th back for the 6th and then uh i'm probably off on the 7th and the 8th and then i think the 9th i hope to debut the cmu so yeah that's kind of the the outlook here for uh may i hope the 9th is going to be the debut of cmu as long as everything is done um Hopefully it will be. Hopefully everything is set up there. I am also going to be producing a new series on my YouTube channel in a video format. The hope is for it to be once a week on Saturday mornings. That's that's the hope. Um, I'm very excited to start producing this uh, this video series. It's something that I have been working on for four months now yeah four months now uh, just kind of getting the idea together and putting it all together finding a proper editor and all that stuff um very excited for it so i i can't wait to start producing it it's gonna be great that could be disturbing to some viewers discretion is advised
tonight on Dynamite. Claudio Castagnoli, Will Ospreay for the first time. Don't you need to wait until the timer reaches zero? I, I don't know how much clearer I can be. We are, the timer will go, the timer will go until the end of the month. And then if it hits the end of the month, it will start counting down. And then at the end of the month, this will hit zero. So yeah, it's either we go until the timer hits zero or the end of the month. Oh man. Who's fighting right now? Will Ospreay and Claudio Castagnoli. That's kind of lame. Fuck that. that that's kind of lame. I did a... No! 30 days straight is what the subathon is. What do you mean? That's the... I put that... No! No! This is not false advertising at all, man. I'm in this way right from the get-go saying 30 days are until the timer's over. What the heck, boys? You got 30 days of content and that's not enough? That's not enough of you? Like, come on. Oh, man. Oh, no. I'll literally be back in like two days. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God, Claudio wrenching back on it. We talk about how tightly coiled those those springs and those legs of Claudio Castagnoli are. Hard to get in, but then you have the reach of Claudio, able to pull Osprey down from a standing position. Look how deep he is setting this Claudio, almost sitting on his back. He is sitting on his back. Oh, God. He's got this sunk in real deep. Oh, Cross face. Rolls him back to the center, now wrenching on it again. And look at how Claudio... He positioned his feet in between Osprey and the ropes. Let's go, Osprey Claudio. That was a great counter by Osprey on that roll stack pin. Yeah, Claudio was forced to abandon ship on the submission hold. Osprey now coming back. Claudio underneath. Swinging a miss. Claudio off the rope. Uh oh. Time go. Double under. Tiger driver two. Claudio kicks out. Ho ho ho. Everybody wants me to stream forever. That's funny. That's funny. I love you guys. I love you that that's not enough, Con Man. That you've been watching me for for all month, and you're like, not enough, Con. <laughs> Next year, two months subathon. Good God Almighty. We are seeing some amazing action tonight on Dynamite. Three straight hours this Saturday. Collision immediately followed by Rampage and then Dynasty live this Sunday on pay-per-view. Those Toshiaki Kawada style kicks by Will Ospreay into the face of Claudio Castagnoli, but Claudio uses power, bull rushing Osprey to the corner. Smartly got his head to the side, took the pressure off his neck and got Osprey into the corner. Poke the eyes, referee Bruce Rensburg. There's a girl on Twitch who's been streaming two years straight. That's wild. All I'm saying, that's not a true subathon. No, you're, a month capped subathon is exactly what this has been advertised. There is different types of subathons. You are you are annoying me. <laughs> you are annoying me, man. You are literally part of my life now, Con. You're my alarm cock. Every morning you scream. <laughs> I think I said alarm cock by accident. Alarm clock. Whoops, alarm cock is wild. Next year, two months, seven months. Oh, man. Firing away, back and forth. So what should we, uh, what should we do here tonight then, guys? Nice kip up by Will. WWE speed and the uh, the box for sure after that, but like what after that? What are you guys feeling? Nice uppercut again. Ricola, no! Rolling him. Wow, that is in, and Claudio just gets out of it. Wow. Osprey, he had Claudio's heels in his armpits. That was a 
very deep, very deep. We are actually done with GM mode now. We have finished GM mode. So far, the difference in this match has been the power of Claudio Castagnoli. Is the WWE behind the scenes thing coming out today? I don't think so. Some people are asking for CG dub. Oh, nice! Out of B Claudio to kick out by Will. Listen to the Osprey chance as well. Claudio looking for another uppercut. Oh, here he goes off the ropes. Oh my God, beautiful by Will. Two kick out by Claudio. Who's gonna win this thing? Oh brother, what a match! What a battle these guys are having. He needs this hidden blade in the worst way right now. Osprey strips off that elbow pad. Raises that right arm high. The hidden blade coming in. Move. Uh -oh. oh my god, what an uppercut! Underneath the chin! Kick out by Will! Holy! Well, yeah, that's what we're gonna do, Sean. It's gonna start counting down if we get to where we need to be by the end of the month. Here we go. Big swing. Oh no. What? Yo, I've never seen anybody counter the swing. What the hell? Oh my God, what? <laughs> oh my god, dude. I've never seen the swing countered like that. Hidden blade. It's over. What a main event. Dude. Will Mother Evan Osprey. This guy is unbelievable. Oh, the Don Callis family in here going after Claudio. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, this isn't good. Will literally walking out of the ring, though. He's not a fan of what's happening here. Here's Moxley! There he is. You gonna bleed? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Three on one for Mox. Dude, just wrecking them. <laughs> oh, dude. Wild end here. That match between Will Ospreay and Claudio was just absolutely incredible. And Hobbs just backs away. And Hobbs threw that all away. Oh, I remember that well. And now Will's on the next week. That's a pretty good end to AEW. I liked that episode. I liked that episode a lot. I thought that was very strong. He wants to fight. He wants to fight Danielson this Sunday at Dynasty. He doesn't want any asterisk on that. He wants the best in the world versus the best in the world. He screamed at Fletcher, his longtime friend. Like, you can hear it. He said, "What are you doing?" Well, John Moxley comes to the aid of Claudio Castagnoli, and we are one week away. I liked it. What did you guys think of AEW here tonight as you just awkwardly watched me sing the words to Wild Thing? Anyways, let me know what did you think of AEW tonight in the comments.
versus Pack and FTR. Plus, Tony Khan is... Are, this is crazy. A bunk house brawl. What? Brian Whoa. Danielson, Claudio Castagnoli versus... Kyle bunk Parker house brawl? Just one sec, Why? April. I, 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 oh. wow. I don't Sunday know how many times i got to save one sec. I'll get to the times when I can. I've got multiple Brian things going on during oh, AEW. I feel like I've repeated myself a million times. You guys are absolutely incredible, but I promise I'll get to the time. All right? Promise, promise, promise. Tag team champions will be decided in a ladder match. The Young Bucks, FTR, both teams looking to become the first ever three-time champion. Kazuchika Okada will put his AEW Continental Championship on the line against the challenger, the bastard, Pac. House of Black will face Adam Cole, this? Mark Briscoe, and Eddie oh, Kingston in a massive trio match. Fuck. And Will the Nightingale challenges Julia Hart for the TBS Championship. Wow. Roderick Strong faces his former friend Kyle O'Reilly, the AEW International Championship, hanging in the balance. And if this is just announced, Chris Jericho demanded. Damn, dudes. Great ending. Great ending. Loved it. Loved that show, actually. Again, like nothing too crazy that happened, but honestly, a strong episode. Ah, uh, Matthews didn't get 70 goals. He finishes at 69. 12 shots in his last game of the season before playoffs. Damn. Whoa. Oh, shit, we're not done. Yo, we're not done. Oh, God, it's Joe and Swerve. Oh, fuck. I thought it was over. I forgot about Swerve saying he was coming down to the ring. Swerve was still dancing. And St. Louis in the main event of Dynasty. You got Swerve Strickland challenging Samoa Joe, the AEW World Champion, for the AEW World Championship, right? With that being said, I was asked a question earlier tonight. How do I believe that I am going to beat Samoa Joe? And that answer's simple. Because as of last week, remember when I knocked you on your ass and you were scurrying on the floor like a little bitch, Joe? And you had the fear in your eye. You was quivering. And I was standing there with your championship held up above my head. Who looks mighty good on me, by the way. You showed me everything that I needed to see. You were scared. The fear. The fact that you know I am going to beat you for that world championship. I'm just out here with the rest of the people of Indianapolis <laughs> waiting for you to come out so I can say it to your face like a man. Wow. So I'm here. Nana's here. So, Joe, bring your sweet tooth ass out here so I can tell you like a man. Is he coming out? Well, Swerve demanding the AEW World Champion. Yeah. He is. Oh, man. There we go. Joe, 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 Joe. Oh, Joe, be mad. Joe, be mad. Oh, oh, here we go. Swerve. What? Bro took them all out. <laughs> Dude. Oh, damn. And we're on. Oh, man. Bro, that was unreal. <laughs> Swerve just jumping down, taking out everybody. Dude, that was nuts. 
from when he's swerving the ring. Yeah, the swerve's hurt, guys. I mean, he hit, hit his rib cage on Are, the top We're of putting the title on yeah, Swerve yeah, at Dynasty, swerve. right, guys? Like, that's, that's where we're going with this? Joe is in the ring now, and he is just eyeballing Swerve. Oh! Is he eyeballing Swerve, or well, maybe I'm wrong? No, no, get the hell out of there, dude. But Swerve's... Swerve compromised. No, no. Prince Nana is... Oh. Get him, Swerve. Hell yeah, Joe, you took your eye off the prize. Yeah! Joe goes down. Holy crap, man. Put the title on him. Put the title on Swerve. He's so ready. He's so ready, man. Oh, no! It's going to take more than that house call to keep Joe down, Taz. Yeah, Joe's so tough. You're not that man. No. Muscle buster. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Bro, this AEW episode cooked. Loved it. Over Swerve Strickland with the AEW. Shit. All right, guys, let me know in the comments who do you think is going to win the AEW World Championship on Sunday? Is Swerve winning it or is Joe retaining it? Can't wait. Dynasty this Sunday. I'll be live reacting to it on my YouTube and Twitch channel. We will not have any clips because AEW doesn't allow clips to be posted for pay-per-views. But also, you guys have never really been able to see my videos lately because... I worded that really weird. You haven't been able to see my videos lately because I'm not being pushed into the For You page. So make sure you guys are liking the video. Make sure you are reposting it. And hopefully we'll st start to get in the For You page again because wild stuff there. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. There we go. All right, everyone, let's go. That was a hell of an episode. Hell of an episode. Um, I know that you guys would like the AEW crate, so let me get that right here. Um, all right, let's get the crate here first. So for those of you that don't know, we do have the All Elite crate. This is not a sponsored part of the segment what the hell this is not a sponsored segment this is not uh put on by AEW in any way shape or form this is literally me buying the crate because i like these crates and i like opening them for you guys but if AEW ever wanted to work together like come on AEW, like uh, i'll continue to open them here on stream all right let's see let's see what we got inside the box yeah we get these once a month or, no, once every three months? What is it? Once every quarter? Something like that. I can't remember. But what do we... Oh, my. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. It's Sting! Let's go! <laughs> I love that shirt. I love that shirt. That is so awesome. That is so awesome. It's got the Sting signature and everything. That is so cool. Oh, that shirt is dope, man. That's actually a... Uh, that will be a shirt that I'll wear to like a actual event, I think. That's a, that's a nice, nice shirt. We also got a bruv sticker. <laughs> bruv. Bruv. We got that right there. Then the other t-shirt we have. Let's find out. Who is this? Oh, nice timeless Tony. We have a timeless Tony shirt. I love that. Very, very, very cool. Starring Tony Storm. Timeless Tony Storm. That's a W. That Sting shirt though, eh? That Sting shirt. Not sure how I feel about the olive color, though. I don't have many shirts like that. What? That... <laughs> what the fuck? 
Drink the Haterade. I got a metal straw that has Drink the Haterade on it. <laughs> That's like almost as bad as these acclaimed scissors. It's almost as bad as the acclaimed scissors. <laughs> We have a, I think that's, is that Dark Order? What is that? That's got to be Dark Order, right? A Dark Order pin? Then we have ourselves, ah, let's go. Prince Nana Micro Brawler. Love that. Love that. That can be added to our addition back there. Let's go. Prince Nana. Let's go over there. Let's. Gotta walk it over. All right. Um, you can go right there. That'll work. Cool. Then we have ourselves. Oh, what is this? Micro Brawler Mini Special Edition. So you can get a Christian Cage, a Chase Christian Cage. That's yellow, a blue Chase Christian Cage, a red Chris, oh, a red Chase Christian Cage, and then a ultra rare metallic gold Christian Cage, only one made. All right, let's find out, guys. What do we get? What do we get? So it's a Christian cage and it is a, oh shit, <laughs> that's kind of cool. We got the second rarest one. There's only two of these made. The orange Christian cage, cool. That's not bad, that's not, that's not bad. We got the uh, the second rarest one, cool. It's not the golden one, but that's that's pretty cool. Pretty cool, yeah. Back there it says orange Christian cage, one of two. One of two, pretty cool. That's a W. You can go back here as well. Go over on the side, yeah. Then we also have ourselves, oh, this is cool. This is cool. A Kenny Omega pay-per-view collection DVD. <laughs> oh shit. Um. Wow. 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 Holy cow. AEW Revolution 2020. The tag team title match between Adam Page and Kenny Omega versus the Young Bucks. AEW Full Gear 2020. The World Title Eliminator Tournament Final. Kenny Omega versus Hangman Adam Page. AEW Double or Nothing 2021. Kenny Omega versus Orange Cassidy versus Pac. AEW All Out 2021. Kenny Omega versus Christian Cage. AEW NJPW Forbidden Door 2023, Kenny Omega versus Will Ospreay. <laughs> Holy fuck. And then AEW Full Gear 2023, Golden Jets versus Young Bucks. Eh. Cool. Cool. That's a dope DVD. Then what do we have here? Oh, it's Orange Cassidy at Double or Nothing. That's a cool poster. That's a cool poster. Yeah, that's cool. It's cool. It'd be cool if it was signed. Cool. So Orange Cassidy right there. And then the last thing, the last thing here is um, the autograph. So guys, what do you think the autograph is? Take a guess. What do you think the All Elite Crate autograph is, everybody? Here we go. Who do you think it is? Take any name out there and say it. Who's it gonna be? Oh. <laughs> well, we got Evil Uno. Hi, Evil Uno. Canadian legend. Love you, brother. Love you. It's Evil Uno. It's, um, thanks, Evil. I mean, you know, we'll take the autograph. We'll take the autograph. 
evil, evil Uno. But yeah, pretty cool crate, eh? That Sting shirt, damn. See, sometimes you get a shirt where you're like, that's almost worth the price of the crate alone. You know what I mean? Sometimes you get those shirts. Other times you get an evil Uno autograph. <laughs> All love, Evil Uno. All love. All love, dude. All right. Uh, let's get that right there. Get that right there. Awesome. So that will do it for our our live stream right here today. Uh, we are going to continue, though, over on Twitch.tv slash Conman167. As I'm sure you guys can see, we popped off. We popped off with Power Hour. There is no doubt about it. Power Hour is a success. Um, absolutely incredible, everybody. So let's keep going. Uh, we are going to have some fun. We're going to find out what's next. I don't really know what we're doing next, everybody, uh, on the subathon. I saw some people asking for certain things. We will take a poll on Twitch once you guys come on all over. All right. So let's, uh, let's get you over to twitch.tv slash conman167. Hope to see you over there. Thank you very much, YouTube and TikTok, for joining us here tonight. If you guys wish to check out my reactions, I do have them posted over on my TikTok page, RealConMan167, RealConMan167, R-E-A-L-C-O-N-M-A-N-167 on TikTok, everybody. So go check that out. When you're over there, can you do me a big solid favor? Just, just double tap those videos. Just give them a like and a repost if you can. The like is the biggest part. Just make sure you guys go through the videos and just tap the like button. Help me get back into the algorithm. Help me show TikTok that my channel isn't a danger and isn't a security threat. Like, what the hell? All right. So go on over there, guys. Real Con Man 167. I'm posting things from tonight. And we will see you guys there. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Appreciate your viewership. Appreciate each and every one of you being here tonight. Take care, and we'll see you over on twitch.tv slash conman167. Good night, everyone.